Good morning, afternoon, evening, and day. First, I'm throwing you to a video I just made of the week in review while you look at my messy house. And then I'm going to meet you outside for a little bit of a talk. It's a shorter one today. Peace and cheers, love and harmony. Over to the music. Good morning, friends. It's Gord, your heart and happy. On a cold and bitter morning, yet here I am out on the porch. The sun is up, or almost up. It's kind of pretty out. Doesn't show well here. Because I'm so covered in trees right here. But it's pretty out. But it's minus nine. Let's put that temperature up. Minus nine feels like minus 12. It's a cold day. It's going up to plus five by afternoon. So why am I doing this outside today? It was the it was two things that got rid of my migraine yesterday. A long walk outside and then a couple of small 10 milligram THC gummies from Canada's Finest. And my headache went away. It's on the edge today, though. I appreciate all of you giving me suggestions for headaches. and I've had migraines ever since I moved to Calgary. And sometimes I can go months without them. But most of the time, I get at least one or two a week. Or I have one that will last the whole week. This last one has gone for maybe five days, but yesterday was almost impossible to get anything done. It was just awful, really bad, and I'm glad to be here. I had a plan for one inside with a lot of talk, but I don't have all the information. My CBD, uh, I should make a playlist and put it right up here. Uh, just a minute, my left, yeah. Put, the CBD playlist right up there. Oh, hold it. Right up there. My right is your left. I get so tired of this. I am in a slight bit of a fog coming out of that as well as having my first THC edibles in a very long time last night. Didn't get very high because it was only 20 milligrams, but it was enough that it settled my brain down and calmed it down and gave me the ability to have a good night's sleep as well. So, the CBD series is over. I hope you enjoyed it. The first one got huge acclamation, and the next two only about 60 views each, which was unusual for me, but that's okay. You guys will watch what you guys want to watch, and I will work on trying to always meet to that. Uh, it's been a tough week. Lost a Patreon supporter down to 11 supporters. So if any of you want to support, look below. You get a free Hippie Unplugged every month that nobody else gets. Sometimes two or three. But mostly you just get the pleasure of helping the Hippie bring you better programming. And definitely getting that money helps because I'm building it up for a new camera, my friends. I'm not sure what else to bring up. This weekend is Canadians Memorial Day, November 11th. Always remember the 11th of November, not the 5th of November, but that's a good one too. Remember, remember the 5th of November. 
a time of the year for remembrance. And my son is going on a field trip today that's going to teach him a bit of that. And he's a little nervous about that, so everybody wish him well. Uh, he doesn't like the idea or the thought or the talk of war. And so this is the first time he's really felt Memorial Day. We had a good talk about it yesterday. And um, I wanted to mention a little something on legalization. I have a friend who's just had to travel quite a bit with his medicine and what a change it has been. Uh, all he had to do was have some legal containers and he took his medicine with him everywhere he went. He would, he carry on in his luggage, didn't matter, nobody cares. So has th have uh, things improved in Canada because of legalization? Absolutely, that guy would not have even gone on that trip if he couldn't take his medicine with him and never went on trips before. So, you know, well, I don't know that for sure, but I know that it really, really impressed him, made him very happy, made his trip worthwhile. We can now travel with our stuff and not be concerned. Yeah, there's certain restrictions, and yeah, it's got to be from a legal store, but my friends, all it's got to do is have the packaging from a legal store. Nobody can tell if that, if the flower that's inside it was originally inside it. So. There's always ways around these things, and as things grow, I drop by the legal store that's in my neighborhood all the time, and things keep changing in the industry. The prices keep dropping. Distribution methods keep improving. Prices keep going down, and the number of contributors to the inventory the number of them that do not irradiate is going up. The people are listening to consumers and the product is starting to reflect the wishes of the consumers. That shows that this industry is starting to rise up. My videos have been late the last couple of days because of YouTube. They've been messing around and as well doing the green screen videos takes an awful lot of editing, sometimes a half hour uh, of sequencing. Uh, uh, you know, it takes a while. It takes a while. So I thought today, let's do a shorter one and still say hey hey still you know still talk about everything but a little bit shorter a little bit colder a little bit nicer day and get it out to you early so let's put up <laughs> little known facts i have a couple of my friends in World War II, and kind of fitting with Remembrance Day coming up, remember, Armistice was signed World War I, November 11th, on the 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month, and that's why November 11th is Remembrance Day, not World War II, World War I, Armistice. In World War II, Germany tried to collapse the British economy economy spit it out guard by dropping millions of counterfeit bills over London and Playboy has been publishing the Braille version of their magazine since 1970 however no pictorial representations are included Jeez, and I was about to go buy one friends peace and cheers love and harmony we will catch you on the inside Peace.